Hi there, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make the fringes of this poncho. You've seen a previous uh, tutorial of mine where I made a copy of this for my daughter. But the fringes alone, I'm just going to lift it up so you can see these fringes. See, this is what it looks like. Just how to make the fringe alone. This is what we're going to do. So it's a short tutorial. And I'm just going to use an average granny square, one of these that I've got lying around. I've got many lying around. And just to show you how to, you know, make this point, how to have these lovely, this lovely fringe that you can throw in the wash and it comes out. It's not scrunched. Sometimes um, I would have a poncho and I would make it with lovely fringes. And then it comes out of the wash and it's so scrunched up, I can't get it untangled. And this will never happen to this. So this, to me, is a winning recipe. Okay, so join me. Let's get going. So this is all about this poncho fringe, right? Like this. So, um, in my previous episode where I made the poncho, um, I told you that I used, this is a more muddy color, grayish, and I used the brown, but this is the make that I used. Himalaya, everyday anti-pilling acrylic, 100%, and I used a 4 millimeter hook, although this says 5 millimeters. There's a 100 gram ball, 200 meters on a ball. And you can watch the other video that I posted on how to make the poncho. Then, to uh, just put a little blueish border around it, so I can wear it with my jeans. And then, obviously, that same blue I repeated around the neckline. See, like this. But this is not what this is about. This is just the poncho has this neckline, and it is again reflected in there we go and this is the one i used for that so if you wanted to use this it says it's anti-pilling it says it's a lease show anti-pilling acrylic is used in this product great we're happy about that it says use a three to five three to five millimeter hook 100% acrylic and this ball doesn't look very neat but that doesn't matter I didn't use a lot of it uh, just enough you can see the lovely blues any kind of jean would go with this there we go lovely it picks up little browns if you've got brown boots with your jeans or whatever color and um, I just love this color and that's why I put it in okay so now let's get to the fringe for the fringe i used pure gold vanilla which is a cream and i love the pure gold it's a four millimeter hook and it's a hundred gram ball and approximately 258 meters on one ball and that is great so now i'm just going to do a sample so we're going to do a sample of this and we're going to start by making a slip knot like normal and I'm going to let me just get my hook you're obviously going to need a pair of scissors your four millimeter hook and a yarn needle okay so let's just make a slip knot there we go and I'm going to use just a, a small square. Imagine this V. This is your poncho. So I'm going to show you the fringe around here. So we can start anywhere. Okay. 
so I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to go in I've made a slip knot and I'm going to make a single crochet and then a single crochet in every stitch of the previous row there we go and a single crochet in every stitch of the previous row you can make a double crochet or a single crochet it depends on how wide you want the border you can see there i made a double crochet or you can make a single crochet just depends i'm going to use single crochet just for this example There we go. And a single crochet. Just focus. Single crochet in every one. The one thing about this gold, it is beautifully soft for any blanket you want to use it for, but it uh, tends to split. So if you can tolerate that it is really lovely to work with and there we go a single crochet in every stitch there we go a single crochet in every stitch like this There. just another two clusters then I'm going to turn like this and I'm just going to show you a little sample so I'm not going to turn my apologies that is incorrect so now I'm just going to cut it off that's not what you're going to do, but this is just, um, obviously when you're going to do it, you're going to go all the way around, all the way around, over the shoulder, to the back V, all the way around, come over the shoulder to wherever you've started. See, because uh, this is what I've done now. This is what I've done. So you're going to, we started here. We went round, you're going to go over the shoulder, round the back, round the V at the back, over the shoulder and back to this corner. So not, not corner, this point. So I'm going to just make a slip knot, just to be able to have something on my hook. And I'm going to, it's like I'm meeting you here for row two. This was row one. So when you join up, you are just going to say, say we join up. And you're going to, I'm just making a single crochet. And here you come and you slip stitch into the top of that single crochet to join. And you're going to do one chain to go up one level. And... You're going to make a single crochet in the same stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet next to that one so three single crochets on top of the previous row single crochets then you're going to make a 30 chain loop so just 30 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty 30 
and come back to where we left off. That's where we left off, right? We made 30 chains. Now, in the very next stitch, we make a single crochet. We need to make three single crochets in the top of the next three single crochets. So that's one single crochet in the next stitch, a single crochet. And in the next stitch, a single crochet. So there's your three single crochet and your 30 chain loop. Now create another 30 chain loop. Okay. So I've made another 30 chain loop. I come back to exactly where I left off. And the next stitch, I'm going to put one, two, three single crochets next to each other. One, two, and three single crochets. Now, make another 30 chain loop. I've made another 30 chain loop. And I come back to where I left off. And in the very next chain, next stitch, I make a single crochet. And in the next one, another single crochet. And in the next one, a third single crochet. Three single crochets next to each other. And now, um, I'll meet you here at the corner. I'm just going to continue. In this way and I'll meet you at the corner and here I am coming up to the corner and I've created these 30 chain loops Let's see and I've done another 30 chain loop and I'm going to do come to where I left off in the next one two three I'm going to put a single crochet Single crochet, single crochet. There we go. And it's one, two, three single crochets. And it just so happens that I'm on the corner. But if I wasn't, it wouldn't matter because you are just going to do three single crochets, 30 chain loop. In the next three, three single crochets, 30 chain loop, three single crochets. 30 chain loop that is what the second row is all about three single crochets and a 30 chain loop let me put it there what we're doing this is what we've created now see three single crochets 30 chain loop three single crochet 30 chain loop and you're just going to go around meet you again back here so i'm just going to finish that and meet you back here okay so we are joining up here. I've made a slip knot and I'm going to just do a single crochet and 30 chains. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now we're going to just join like we would normally do. At the end of the row, you're going to do a slip stitch and then slip in the back of the next single crochet. And in the back of the next single crochet. Now we need to get 
to the top of this 30 chain loop and I'm going to slip stitch all the way up these 15 stitches to get to the top of this loop so let's just do that so I'm going to slip stitch one and two and three and four sorry if I'm knocking the camera there five six seven eight I see this is the thing eight this is the thing with this yarn is that it splits it tends to split it likes to split now let me just fix that because I don't want it to split on me come don't split on me so if you don't mind this pure gold splitting on you and you can manage that like I've just done if it does split I just go back sort it out then you have the benefit of this really soft uh, I mean I've made blankets out of this yarn at some point this used to be my absolute favorite go-to yarn because you have a lot of meterage on one ball and you really get value for money you can throw it in the washing machine it is just perfectly fine I'm just going to guess that's number 15 okay so now I'm at the top of this 30 chain loop. I'm going to make one double crochet and it's already fixed there. So I'm just going to chain up three. Then I'm going to add another two double crochets like a cluster of three double crochets. So chain three, one, two, three, and now that two double crochets and it's one double crochet and two double crochet it's just the first one i need fixed so that it doesn't move then i'm going to um, chain 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten find the next Let me just get find the next 30 chain loop in the center and I'm just going to look look how easy I just take it up and where the center is that's where I'm going to put one double crochet through the chain through the chain because I want to pin it right there I don't want it to move and you're going to add another two double crochets did I say single crochet I meant double crochet now I, what I want is a three double crochet cluster at the top of each 30 chain loop so the first one I pin by going through the chain you can put all three through the chain I'm just putting the first one through the chain so it doesn't move and then the other two double crochets I add through the loop because it's easier and the same result is obtained so another 10 chains three four five six seven eight nine and ten find the next the very next 30 chain loop guess where the center is put a double crochet through that center chain there we go and add another two double crochets one two and as i said mine i just put through the loop and chain 10 and it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now this is what we're achieving let me just show you what we're making here what we are creating We've got a loop and three double crochet cluster on top of it. A loop and a three double crochet cluster on top of that. 
let me just tilt this camera that is what we are creating so just continue uh, around your shawl and I'll continue around my sample and I'll get you back here where this where we start at the start of your row or round okay okay so we have finished the second no the first row the second row was the 30 chain loops third row finish the third row now we're going to start the fourth row so let me just make a slip knot on my hook and imagine i'm coming around and i must join up here and then join the two well you've got to end off that row so let's just turn that around and that is the hey just a moment and this is the the 30 chain loop just adjust this camera a little bit there we go you'll be able to see better now and I'm coming around and I'm ending off I'm just going to as if I'm doing a wait no what I, what I will have on my that's what will happen I'll just do a double crochet come on I'll just be doing a double crochet in the top of that loop through the chain come on yarn over through the chain and there we go and we're making a double crochet fixed in that loop now we're going to just add two one two and ten chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we are going to join Remember, we came all the way up from the previous row up this, which is why this post is a bit thicker. So now we're just going to join at the top of this three chain post with a slip stitch. Like, there we go. Just a moment. And then I'm going to make a single crochet in the next stitch because I want to be in the center one single crochet and then two chains one two that is going to count as a double crochet one double crochet in the center of the three double crochet cluster every time chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten nine and ten it's split again there we go now one double crochet in the top of the center double crochet there we go that is what we're going to do and again Ten chains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a double crochet yarn over to make a double crochet in the top of the center double crochet of the previous row. There we go. And chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten look for the next 
three double crochet cluster put a double crochet in the top of the center double crochet and chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and look for the next three double crochet cluster put a double crochet in the center of the top top of the center center of the top <laughs> one two three eight and split three four five six seven eight nine ten apart from splitting this yarn is really soft and just slides off the hook so what if you can just get over the splitting which is what i can do i i don't really mind that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there we go and you're just going to continue like that and this is actually our final round so let me just meet you at the end of this round so this is what we've created with the last row but now let me just join it up okay because here we need to join we need still to put there a one double crochet and do our last 10 chains and meet up so let's do that so we're going to make a double crochet in there say look i'm now pretending to be you and i'm coming around there we are now 10 chains and one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and now i'm going to meet up remember this is where we started we made a single crochet focus a single crochet and two chains one two chains so now i'm just going to do a slip stitch through that what served as a double crochet and slip through and that is the end that's how my round ends so just let's do this and you can work in that little thing i'm going to work it in and then i'm going to show you the final product and that's our beautiful fringe that we've created for this poncho four rows easy peasy really easy you're just going to iron it with your hand sort of just tell everything where to lie and that is that and it's the same as this there we go this one is old not old but well worn you can see there and it's the same as this like that <laughs> where are you come here you little square so i can show like that this is what it looks like lovely lovely you can throw this in the washing machine it's not going to tangle it's not going to fizz it's not going to do anything it's just going to stay beautiful beautiful and that is that four easy rows well i hope you enjoy this and use it and there we go and if you like this little video give it a thumbs up please and if you want to get more videos please subscribe and i'll see you again bye